we are out here on the Pamlico River and we literally just put lines in the water first cast and check it out two stripers right here so we are throwing Berkeley gulps and we're gonna we're gonna do a video for y'all today on fishing with Berkeley gulps and just how effective that they are All right, y'all. First fish, nice striper. Yeah. Look at that guy. Get in here, buddy. So today, what we're gonna show y'all what we're using and how we're fishing it is a Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet. These are the oversized one. It's like a five incher. Oh, he got off. Did he? Hey, nope. He's on. <sighs> nice. I was adjusting my trolling motor and he hit it right on the fall. These guys got some nice size to them. All right, y'all, here we go. Pulling these dudes out. Endless striper action on uh, the Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet. Dude, these guys are a blast. Yeah. It's like catching like four pound bass, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Or like three, four pound bass. Like That was actually my first uh, catch blast. on this reel. Was it? Yeah. Nice. Since I bought it at the fishing next time. I haven't been doing a lot of finesse fishing. Oh man, dude, these guys are such a blast out here in North Carolina on the Pamlico River. Almost like a snook. See you later, dude. In case y'all didn't recognize, Drew and I have the same exact fishing setup. Totally unintended. Shimano Nacy and the Bionic Blade Bass Pro brand. Shimano Reel. Gets the job done. We're twinsies. <laughs> I'm on. That's a big one. Oh man. It's gonna be one of those one of those days, dude. Just non-stop. Where you at, Drew? Alright y'all, this is fish number like five. Oh I got okay, I'll put flip them. Sure. Eh. Might as well already All right. Cool. This is insane. It's like four cast five fish. All right, y'all, another another double up right here. These guys are feisty. I'm gonna put this one back and let's catch some more. All right, y'all, so the technique that we are using, quarter ounce jig head, cast it out, let it sink a little bit, not too much, and then pop, real pop. That's right, just jigging. Getting jiggy with it. Usually they'll hit it on the fall. Yeah, there he is. Oh. Maybe not. Yeah, now nah, he's a fighter. Yeah. Come on in there. 
join our little party. Little guy, but fun. Dang, I wasn't even filming. All right, y'all, striper like 857. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Another one. Non stop. Doubled up, baby. Oh, oh. Oh. Man, you guys need to get up off your butt and come on down to the Pamlico River. All right, so when you guys are fishing these river stripers, um, you can either fish, you know, top water is very effective. Right now, we can't fish top water as well because we've got a lot of wind chop on the surface so we're going subsurface and for subsurface you know these work great just you know a larger kind of swimming mullet um you know striper feed on you know bunker mid hayden and just a little bit of your kind of larger um and, and shad and some of your larger uh forage there so uh don't be afraid when you're striper fishing to go a little bigger <clears throat> Oh, there's a hit. Yeah. yeah, right there. There we go. Fish on. Put the anchor mode on. Got the anchor mode set. You're on? Nice. Dang, dude, he's pulling drag. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, you guys do not be afraid to go bigger on the baits. You know, as you see, we're using a little bit bigger baits than I normally use, even for drum. Dang, Drew. You good? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. Doubled up right now, and I'm going to get Drew's fish. There's mine. Set them back. Nice. Nice, dude. Get a measurement on him. Okay, so, uh, all right, you guys, fun fact. Uh, about a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, it was Drew's birthday, and I took him fishing, and we went drum fishing, and we, like, smacked the fish. So I don't know if this is, like, a tradition or something, but we're having a pretty <laughs> solid day here today. So, all right, so. Got me too, so three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right on. Yeah, so that's it, y'all. Berkeley Gulp Swimming Mullet is just killing it right now. Got a little sunset bite going on. Beautiful Pamlico, the Pamlico River. Uh, man, it just it does not get much better than this. It's like mid-June, late June, all these fish. What these fish are doing, they've all spawned. They swim all the way up, just like salmon, up to like Emporia, like up all these feeder rivers, Pamlico, the Tar, the Noose River, and then they spawn way, way up the rivers, about as skinny water as they can get to where it's really like rapids. And then after they spawn, they make their way down here, and then they make their way out into the Pamlico Sound. Uh, some of them actually go as far out to the ocean, but it's a really cool fishery down here, and it's just like nonstop. Imagine catching like, you know, five, six pound bass, just like steady, every single cast. That's pretty much what's going on right here. Yeah. Even after I tighten it up, still... There's one. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there <it is. laughs> Do you want it or not? Come again. Running towards the boat. Now you're running towards the side. Good one? He's alright. Average size. Probably 15. Does not get much better than this. I'm good. I'll work him over here. That's another thing too, these fish, they're like salmon, you know, trout and smallmouth. 
really like you know more like salmon because they're such strong swimmers just these dudes like you know some of them out in the open ocean so they fight they put up an awesome fight y'all all right that's fish uh i think we're in the like quadruple digits that might be fish like 1000 of the night <laughs> all right y'all i want to talk to y'all a little bit more just about like stripers and you know what we're doing to target these fish you know what you guys a little bit knowledge here and so um you know the stripers like i said they'll they'll come all the way up the rivers uh and they'll spawn around you know between april and may and that's an awesome time to catch you know you can check out our video um of us tearing up this striper uh you know kind of right in springtime um but when they come back after the spawn uh they you know they'll they'll swim out of these rivers but what they'll do is they'll target you know places like this docks and you know just any structure along the river um and they'll just kind of hunker down some of them you know will stay there longer than others you know a lot of them the the main migratory pattern will be for them to continue you know swimming out uh you know into the sound and you know further but um so that's kind of what you want to do is you want to you know, it's 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 best to understand like where the general um, fish migration is, or you know, it's best to kind of understand like where the main you know pod of fish are, and then um, you know, kind of base your <clears throat> what you're gonna you know fish or where you're gonna fish off of that. Uh, but you know, he's pretty pretty easy. Uh, it's you know nothing too um, scientific about it. You know, you're just you know, uh, we're looking for structure and you are keeping your eyes out for bait. So where you do see like schools of bunker and Menhaden and, you know, even like the shad, then, you know, you can bet your bottom dollar that there's probably going to be striper around those areas. All right, y'all. So that right there wraps up a very successful day of striper fishing out here on the Pamlico river. Um, kind of got beat up a little bit by the wind. Um, finishing up but i hope you guys enjoyed some of that striper fishing and some of those you know tips if you guys do have any questions about getting on the stripers down here in north carolina then certainly give me a call um, if you guys want to get on a awesome striper trip and guaranteed striper catching you got to hit up our buddy captain mitchell blake with ibx charters because he's the man and he's got this whole place dialed in hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and you know we're just here to get y'all stoked on you know getting out and catching fish so with that being said we're going to close up shop we're going to get back um to the ramp and get some sleep so we can catch some more fish tomorrow all right peace out